Welcome to Cam Look, your bi-weekly dose at the Cincinnati Art Museum. Every Tuesday and Thursday, a staff member or volunteer will talk about a work from the collection and pose questions for discussion. Check back at 10 a.m. on those days for new works and new conversations. Hi, I'm Jessica, the Art Bridges Fellow at the Cincinnati Art Museum. And today I'm going to be talking about a painting titled Differences of Opinion by Daniel Cook, a very unique work from our collection. While we don't have much information on this artist yet, that doesn't mean that we have to have any less fun looking at the work. Let's take some time to look closely at this piece together. Now, I don't know about you, but the first thing that I focus on when I look at this painting is the work on the canvas that all of the monkeys are looking at. It seems to be an abstract painting with some circles, pointed teardrops, and splashes of color across the canvas. Does this artwork remind you of any artists, artworks, or art styles you may have seen before or learned about? With some close looking, we might be able to learn what this artwork is actually intended to be. Let's search for some clues in the rest of the painting. How about this book on the floor? If we zoom in close, it looks like the book is titled Art Appreciation. This gives us a clue that these monkeys might be students in an art or art history class, but it doesn't quite tell us anything about the work. But oh, what's this? It looks like a page has fallen out of the book. It reads, Picasso, how to study his work. Maybe the piece these monkeys are looking at then is a Picasso. Hopefully not a real one, however, as this monkey with the mischievous grin is touching it with his bare hands. Don't try that at the Cincinnati Art Museum. Now let's take a look at the monkeys themselves. It's clear why they seem to need some instruction in how to look at art, because they seem to be getting pretty riled up. Some monkeys have opted to look closely in a very literal way, using telescopes and magnifying glasses and getting right up close to the painting, probably trying to see and remember every tiny detail. Others, however, have chosen to view the work from more of a distance, one monkey even leaning back and framing the work with his hands, opting to look at the bigger picture rather than peeking up close. Not only are they looking differently, but some monkeys seem to be reacting quite differently to the work as well. While the two over here seem to be looking and even possibly discussing the work with each other, some of the other monkeys seem to be getting aggressive, one even baring his teeth at the others. I think we can see why this work is titled Differences of Opinion. While all of this is going on up close to the art, the fuzzy orangutan in the back is still and quiet as it gazes at the work with a small smile on its face and the baby monkey up here looks out at us, ignoring the painting entirely as it eats a banana as big as its body. We've got quite the cast of characters here. Something else interesting about this piece is the wallpaper in the background. If we look closely, these repeating patterns are actually even more depictions of monkeys or baboons, and the other strip of wallpaper along the top of the wall includes some names you might recognize. Can you spot the name of the artist of this piece? Now that we've looked closely at this work together, today's questions are going to be about your interpretation of the piece. Why do you think the artist, Daniel Cook, decided to use monkeys as the subject of this piece? More specifically, why do you think he mostly focused on baboons? We have concluded that these monkeys may be students in an art class, but can you find any details that may tell us where these monkeys go to school? Finally, which monkey do you think you would act most like in this situation and why? Would you be quietly observing from the back of the room like our friend the orangutan? Or would you be up close with the work using a magnifying glass to look at the details or having a passionate discussion with your classmates? Let us know in the comments below. Thank you for joining me for today's Cam Look. Don't forget to check back every Tuesday and Thursday at 10 a.m. for new works and new conversations.